Welcome to tonight's homework help for September 20th, 2012. Tonight we're going to start with factors. Number one, question one, list all of the factors for each of the following numbers. So you're going to list all the factors of 6, all the factors of 8, 12, so on and so forth. Okay. I'll go ahead and I'll list all the factors for 24 because that one looks like it has a lot. So uh, 24, I know 1 times 24 gives me 24. I also know that 2 times 12 gives me 24 because 24 is even and 2 divides evenly into any uh, even number. Uh, I know that 3 times 8 is 24. Um, I also know that 4 times 6 is 24 and those are all the factors of 24. I'm going to use this completed chart to help me answer the questions down here. So let's just move it up a bit, and we've got a few more questions here. So part two says, answer the following. One, what are the odd factors of six? So look up at this completed chart once you've completed it. Look for any factors of six that happen to be odd, and list those all here. What are the even factors of 30? Same idea. Look at up here at the list. Look up here at the list and see any, look at all the factors of 30 that are even and list them here. What numbers are factors of both 18 and 24? So here you're going to look at that list. You're going to compare uh, all the factors of 18 to all the factors of 24. And then any ones that they both share, you're going to list here. Any ones that they don't share, you're not going to list. Okay, what numbers are factors of 12 but not factors of 8? So you're going you're gonna to compare the factors of 12 to the factors of 8, and any ones that appear as factors of 12 that are not also factors of 8, you'll list here. So just the ones that appear that are unique to 12 and uh, not shared between 12 and 8. Okay, what odd numbers are factors of both 20 and 50? So now you're going to, again, use this list up here. You're going to compare the factors of 20 to the factors of 50. Uh, and any ones that match, I would make a list, and then I would circle the ones that are odd so that we know which ones are the odd factors. That's the easiest way for me. And then if you really want, you can erase the ones that are not odd. Uh, and then finally, what is the sum of the factors of 100? So you have to take all of these factors of 100, and you have to add them together, and you'll come up with an answer. Okay? Uh, moving on to the next side. Here we have um, addition shapes. And uh, addition shapes. Ted is making number shapes. The corners on each shape must add up to the number in the center of the shape. The number put on each corner must be either 3 or 5. For example, shape number 11 has corners of 3 and 3 and 5 because 11 is equal to 3 plus 3 plus 5. There's 11. Corners are either 3 or 5 only. And we know that 3 plus 3 is 6 plus 5 makes 11. Put numbers in the corners of each shape below to find the same total as the number in the center of the shape. The number put on each corner must be either 3 or 5. I'm going to read that again. The number put on each corner must be either a 3 or 5. Don't use other numbers. You're only supposed to use a 3 or 5. Okay. So if I go here and I try, let's try, I'll try, I'll try the 21. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put, um, let's see here, I'll put, uh, 3, 12, um, okay, okay, so I figured out that if I use a 5, a 5, and a, another 5, that's 15, plus 3 is 18, plus 3 equals 21. So if I add 3 plus 3 is 6, plus 5 is 11, plus 5 is 16, plus 5 more makes 21. So I've completed this shape correctly using only threes or fives. Okay, You do the same, and I hope that helps. If you have any further questions, feel free to text either myself or Mr. Schlepper. Good night, and go Bears! Rawr!